Hey everybody, welcome to another quick MR2 update. Um, so, found the leak, found the leak, and it, it's driving me nuts because it's in the most awkward spot. Um, but from the research that I've done and like a couple of people that I've spoken to, um, this happens, this happens to their MR2s or it has happened recently to their MR2s. So I'm not the only one, so that's a good thing. Um, but let's get to it. I'm gonna show you kind of where we're at um, on, this, uh, on this project. So let's get to it. All right, like you guys last seen, my plan was to remove the uh, fuel tank. I did remove the fuel tank, so we do have it here. Um, it was hell. This is not at all my favorite thing to do um, on an MR2 is remove this damn gas tank. It's not fun. It's not at all uh, uh, a thing for me. <laughs> I hate it, but it, it had to be done. So. Um, let's get in the on this creeper and um, go under the car. So let's get to it so I can show you guys where the leak is. All right, we're under the car. This is usually where the uh, where the gas tank sits. Um, connects to the fu uh, filler neck, your return line, all that other fun stuff. Um, your vapor stuff up here, like usually, are just um, like uh, evap lines. Um, but here goes that leak. You see it right there. So it, it's in one of those awkward spots. It's literally in the spot where it, it's got a bend. And I don't know. You could see this green right here. Um, I got a feeling like that's the rotted portion of the pipe. Um, this looks pretty green here too. I'm going to take both of these off and uh, get them fixed because it's just, I just feel like it's what should be done um, just because I'm not gonna take this tank off again and if I didn't remove both of them then I would be in trouble if something else happens because I'm not gonna remove it <laughs> uh, but yeah here we go like I'm following the lines all the way um, and they look all pretty good um, this one has a little bend in it which I'm gonna have to address as well, but I this is something that I'm gonna remove completely. I'm gonna remove all the lines and just go from there, just because uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna play this game with this. Like I, I want to get it done and I want to get it done right. So let's get it done, guys. All right, guys. An hour later, I finally got these uh, these heater core pipes out. Um, it's super annoying to try to get these things out with the motor still in there. As you see, I did remove, have to remove a lot of stuff to get back there. Um, and I think I did pretty good. I did not scratch anything. Um, so far, so good. Um, it, it's, it's a lot of space now, as you can see. Um, remove the tank. Um, like I said, showed earlier, the tank is right over there. Uh, that's done and out of the way. Um, I do got the pipes here. So hopefully, 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 um, this can get fixed. So when I pull the pipes, I couldn't find any active, active, uh, like break or slit or something in this hole. So it's coming from back here, somewhere back here. So I'm hoping that, um, I'm going to take this to a, to a, a radiator store to see if they could probably fix it somehow. Um, if not, we're going to have to find an alternative to, to get this done correctly. Uh, something I'd rather it be uh, rubber hoses opposed to um, these brass lines just because it's just to me these brass lines are just not worth it um, not worth the effort it's just not like I, I mean I don't want to fix this and then this eventually happen again so what I'm trying to do is avoid um, any extra maintenance if I don't need to so ideally what I'm trying to do here is um, make it a simple and as um, functional, I would say, uh, as possible. So ideally, uh, I'm gonna take it tomorrow to go get a uh, a checkout, like to see what what I can be, what could be done to fix that, and go from there. But guys, you already know, I really, really, really want this car to be sold in great condition. You know what I mean? Like I don't want anything to be an issue for the new buyer, the potential buyer, whoever buys it. Um, I do want to drive the car a little bit to make sure that uh, the um, the car is going to be good enough shape um, to handle whatever, you know, like I, I want it to be a good thing. So here we go, man. 
So all right, guys. As you guys seen, this is a, a, a real quick update on on what the build is uh, looking like right now. So ideally, hoping hoping tomorrow that this thing can get fixed. Tomorrow, I'm actually gonna make another really quick update video. Let you guys know what I found or what they found and what was done. Um, but I, ideally, hopefully, this can get fixed. So I mean, by all means. I want this to be as quick as possible because I was just that much closer to getting the car turned over. The only reason why and how I found this out was because I was filling it with coolant and really ready to burp it. So ideally, hopefully I can get this done ASAP, get this back into the car and then get back to where I was at before. Um, so guys, again, this is Nasty Addiction. We build differently. So stay tuned.